then u tube manometer it consists of class tube bent in u shape one end of which is connected to a point at which pressure is to be measured and other end remains open to the atmosphere as shown in figure 2.9 there is a figure of youtube youtube manometer see here first one is in the left side which is for gauss pressure and the next one in the right side which is for vacuum pressure see here the differences here s2 is here and here s2 is here so there's the differences it consists of glass tube bent in u shape one end of which is connected to a point at which pressure is to be measured and the other end remains open to the atmosphere the tube generally contains mercury or any other liquid whose specific gravity is greater than the specific gravity of the liquid whose pressure is to be measured next one single column manometer single column manometer is a modified form of a u-tube manometer in which a reservoir having a large cross-sectional area about 100 times as compared to the area of the tube is connected to the one of the lines say left line of the manometer as shown in the figure 2.15 due to a large cross-sectional area of the reservoir for any variation in pressure the change in the liquid level in the reservoir will be very small which may be neglected and hence the pressure is given by the height of liquid in the other line the other line may be vertical or inclined thus there are two types of co single column manometer as first one is vertical single column manometer and the next one is inclined single column manometer now talk about differential manometers Differential manometers are the devices used for measuring the difference of pressures between two points in a pipe or in two different pipes. A differential manometer consists of a U-tube containing a heavy liquid whose two ends are connected to the points whose difference of pressure is to be measured. Most commonly, types of differential manometers are number one, YouTube differential manometer and number two inverted YouTube differential manometer our next topic is pressure at a point in compressible fluid for compressible fluids density or rho changes with the change of pressure and temperature such problems are encountered in aeronautics oceanography and meteorology where we are concerned with atmospheric air, where density, pressure, and temperature changes with elevation. Thus, for fluids with variable density, equation 2.4 cannot be integrated unless the relationship between P and rho is known. For gases, the equation of state is P divided by rho is equal to RT, that means rho is equal to p by rt now equation 2.4 is dp by dz is equal to w is equal to rho g that means p divided by rt come from here multiplication g therefore dp by p is equal to g divided by rt multiplication dz in equation 2.4 z is measured vertically downward but if z is measured vertically up or upward then dp by dz is equal to minus rho g here comes the minus sign and hence equation 2.16 becomes that means this equation becomes dp by p is equal to minus g divided by rt multiplication dz and this is the equation 2.17 so the differences between the equation 2.16 and 2.17 is there is a positive sign and there is a negative sign and this happens because in this equation z is measured vertically downward and in this equation z is measured vertically upward so there's the differences between these two equations and that's why the sign are different here first one is for positive sign and the next one is there are the negative sign 